Okay, so the, uh, uh, with uh, the remaining time of, uh, I have, I want to introduce the, uh, our uh, project, as you see in the, if you have seen in the, uh, the video, we start this digital project very long ago, uh, starting from Xiangtangshan and Tianlongshan K projects. Uh, but three years, uh, three years ago, uh, in two, uh, 2020, we started this uh, DCADP Dispersed Chinese Art Digitalization Project. Uh, under the uh, uh, with the uh, the general support from the Cyrus Hong Foundation, so we really grateful for that. And then uh, from 2020 to 2003, uh, we have we have uh, launched four projects uh, from the Beijing Zhuhua Temple to the Binyang Central Cave at the Longmen Grottoes. Uh, that is much broader uh, projects, so we break it down to uh, Empress Procession and so on. And then the number uh, the number three will be a uh, six noble uh, steeds from the Zhao Ling uh, tomb. Uh, for, uh, of the Tang import. And then the final one is the uh, Yixian uh, Lohan sculptures. So that's kind of the, the, the project we have done. Uh, and uh, very briefly, I think you know, the, our project involves two different parts. First part is about restoration. So, so when things being removed from its size of origin, there's some kind of uh, damage or that, and the alteration by the museum. So uh, the, first, the, the first job for us is to see how we will be able to restore that. The second will be to reconnect the fragments with the sites of origin. So we, all, so we do two parts. In the United States or outside China, going, going to different museums to scan, and uh, digitally, we connect them with yeah, the sites of origin. So uh, because time is really brief, so I'm gonna just introduce, you know, with these two, two aspects, I'm gonna use two examples. One is the Empress Procession, you know, in the, uh, under the second one. And then the second, uh, the reconnection, I will, I will use the uh, Beijing Zhuhua Temple as uh, an example. So for example, you know, the, uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, the piece you are seeing right here is Empress Procession in Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. It was installed there in 1941. Uh, so, and then the, its original site is right here, and I see if I can. Uh, yeah, so that's a place where the other uh, relief came from. It's actually, actually around the corner right there, but partially right here is all mi is the uh, the fragments are gone forever. So, and the piece right right now we know uh, and Nelson looks like that, uh, but from this is not a secret anymore. From archive we know, uh, actually is very fragmented. 50% of that was restored. So we tried to, and then we decided uh, to do a digital restoration. This, that means that digitally we removed the parts that was, that was uh, uh, filled in with the plasters. So uh, we, we uh, uh, scanned the, the whole thing and tried to decide, also number all the fragments, and then decide which part is, is uh, uh, filled in with the plaster, and we're gonna digitally remove them. So, and then we project this one onto the old photos on the right to figure out you know, how much shift the restoration in the museum was made. And also, and with that conclusion, we project that onto the wall. So the one on the left, uh, the background is the, uh, the skin of the original site. So then we created the entire whole thing, including the part around the corner that has missing. Uh, we, we stored that part based on the uh, historical records and rubbings and photos. So this is our restoration. Uh, and then, then and we can also distinguish which part, the, the, the part in shade is the uh, authentic part. The part in, uh, without shade is the, uh, the restoration. So, so this is kind of the process. I think the process itself also quite important because the process will support our final result. So, so I think that's kind of the, the way I want, we want to, uh, in, if that's possible for exhibition, I think it's not just about the experience. But also, you know, by doing this, you know, the kind of knowledge we'll be able to provide to our, our audience. And the second project is the Zhuhua Temple project. The project almost, is almost done, but, uh, but it doesn't really involve so much, you know, the, uh, the reconstruction. Uh, basically, this is where it is right now in Beijing. Uh, and then the building of our discussion is right here. It's on the second floor of this pavilion right there. It's called Wanfo Pavilion, or Pavilion of 10,000 Buddhas. And if you enter, you can see that it's actually very, still very, very, it looks really handsome, really gorgeous. And then the, uh, uh, the sitting part, you can see the, the understructure. But, you know, from the historical uh, photos on the right, you see, it should have a recessed coffer sitting right here. Uh, until a few years ago, they, they, you know, the, uh, the temple used this, uh, uh, the, the, what's that, the board to cover it, so you won't see the, uh, the understructure. So where is, where is the, uh, the coffer scene right now? It is, again, at the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. And this piece entered the museum in 1931 uh, with an acquisition uh, from the, the temple then. 
So, so the, our, our work is to kind of, uh, kind of try to reverse it. And of course, physical, physical rever reversal is not possible. So we're gonna do a digital reversal. So we scan the entire whole space and we try to digitally remove this part, this sitting outside, out of the other space. So we try to figure out how the, all the components can put together, because, because you can't really take it down and scan every part. So we have to do some research in order to, uh, to uh, the digital, digital reconstruct all the, uh, we create all the components and then we construct them together. In China, we scan the entire whole building. And then uh, with the measurements that we, we have obtained, uh, we, the, uh, from the model, then we can decide where the seating should go right here. And finally, we can build the model, the 3D models, and then with renderings. So then now you have the, uh, the seating right there. So I'm gonna show you the uh, uh, video that can, it's kind of walk through, uh, will take us uh, kind of through this entire space. The music, the temple itself is also quite uh, famous for uh, the Bud uh, Buddhist music uh, from, uh, from the Ming Dynasty, so we're using the traditional music in the background. So you can, this is prescribed path, so I will guide the, uh, the, the audience through. Uh, but next one right here, we try another way to present this. So then it, has, it will have a more interactive kind of components. For example, I can, I'm not showing it right now. So Greg, can, do you know how to show it? You click directly on it? Uh, right here? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not coming up. So I don't know, probably we need to shift to the, uh, Oh. Hmm. Let's get out of the uh, PowerPoint. Yeah, so you have to go. It's in the browser, Logan, separate. Sorry. I have no idea how to do this. You fine? Okay, so you want to go back to this. Yeah, I'll go to the browser. Okay. Uh, so is, that, is this the right one? I want to go to go to the uh, this uh, YouTube. Oh, you want to show the video? Yeah, YouTube. The video. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, right here. Uh, don't know. Full screen, yes. Okay. okay, cool. Do you want to be able to see it though? Hang on. No, it's okay. This will be better. So sorry about the, uh, the delay. So uh, for this one, then you, we can do, I'm oh, sorry. You can do a lot of uh, uh, interactive. So you can turn, you can pull this around and see the entire whole thing while you are still moving. So it's more like, you know, you are in the real space and then you, you, uh, you can turn around to see the seating right here. Now, because the space is, is a reconstructed model, so uh, it's not existing. And also when you go to the go to a temple today, you won't be able to see all the, uh, the, uh, the cover scenes and also all the panels right there. So, so th this will give you a better capacity to interact and then also uh, take comment about what you want to see. So this is kind of the two, two different examples that we prepared to show you and kind of general introduction to our projects and we welcome your comments and then uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have more uh, communications in the, in the, in the coming uh, two days. Thank you so much.